Hello everybody, Sean here, and we are looking at the Giant Lord boss fight in Dark Souls 2. Takes place inside the memory of one of the fallen giants. And this boss is very similar to the very first boss you face, the last giant. Because they are both giants and they both will wield a weapon, although this guy has a large sword and is kind of in armor, rags, cloth, thing, feathers, not quite sure what they are, but it's a very similar boss fight. So if you remember anything from the first one, all you really need to do is stay by his feet and uh, basically just attack like crazy. Uh, by doing this, you will cause him to pretty well lock himself into one type of attack, which is the foot slam, and you're seeing it constantly being used here. He will occasionally, depending on your position, swing his uh, large sword, and there you saw it right there. But as long as you stay in close like this, it'll primarily be his foot attack that you have to deal with. So all you have to do to evade that is basically switch your switch which foot is your uh, target while uh, he uh, finishes his attack. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that if you're a sorcerer or any sort of ranged character for that matter, uh, getting in this close is still probably the best way to go about the fight. However due to the fact you're probably going to be wearing very, very light armor, you're going to have to be extra cautious that you don't get hit. So that means probably backing away a little more than usual from his feet. Uh, you see me standing pretty close even when he is attacking because I am in heavier armor and I have quite a bit of health at this point in the game, so I can accept a hit or two from him without much concern. But if you are a sorcerer, one, one foot in your face could be enough to completely kill you, so that is something to keep in mind, again, if you are a sorcerer or a ranged character, that you have to be a little more cautious than a melee character would have to be. Otherwise, it should be a pretty simple fight. You could, I guess, attempt it at range, but do keep in mind that his ranged attacks are equally as powerful uh, because he, he he's large there's no other way around it. He is quite a large character, so he has a very long reach, and this means that if you stand 20 feet away, he can still hit you with his sword, not to mention when he slams the sword down, there's a slight AoE effect, and you saw it at the very beginning. He specifically has an attack where when he slams the sword down, it also kind of radiates uh, a darkness wave out from the front of his sword, which can also damage you. So if you're a ranged character, Although possible, the easier method is to stand by his feet. Just again, keep in mind that you want to be extra evasive. Uh, it's better to dodge unnecessarily than to not dodge and risk getting hit. He is weak to fire and normal soul magic, possibly weak to poison, was unable to test that. But uh, all around, any kind of magic is going to give you a little extra boost and help you out. But there you go. I hope this helps. I thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.